Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasi Only Blue and today I'm going to do a tutorial about the Streamlabs OBS settings. There is plenty of you uh, that you've been asking for a video uh, on the Streamlabs OBS since you guys saw my previous OBS uh, OBS settings since I switched uh, for about since day one that Streamlabs OBS came out. I'm, I'm only streaming on this platform over here and it's, uh, it's brilliant. Um, the settings that I'm going to tell you, uh, you have to follow them no matter what. Even if you are a big streamer or a small streamer, if you just started, if you are already streaming for five years, doesn't matter. This is the setting that you should use no matter what. And I will, I will explain you why. Uh, starting with the settings on the output, you're going to use the advanced as always, never the single. You want to have as much control as possible to the settings and the quality that your stream is pr and, and your recordings are producing, no matter what. Um, I always put my streaming uh, track into uh, the track one, so I, I know. First is the streaming, that is my recording on the track two. We're going to get to the track two in a second. Uh, when it comes to streaming, uh, you need to have at least four, um, 4K uh, bitrate uh, internet, upload internet. If you don't have 4,000 or 4 uh, megabyte uh, upload, then I'm sorry, but you cannot stream. That is the minimum that you can, that, that you can be. I have four, I'm streaming with 4,000 and I have a really good uh, quality internet. Sometimes I do have a little bit of issues with my internet, but again, it, it is better ball and, and, and your, your chat will enjoy the stream and you're not going to have any problem with the quality, uh, performance and everything like that. 4K, you're good to go. Make a, a, a test on your computer, check your internet. You probably already know your internet. If you don't have uh four or above then uh then um, um, unfortunately you won't be able to stream i'm here to give you the best quality and the best internet uh, the best quality stream uh, and and i don't get responsibility of anyone that doesn't have these requirements over here i'm assuming that you do have a good internet and you're not like me with four uploads and you have at least a decent computer. If you don't have a decent computer, you're going to struggle a little bit. I'm going to advise you to copy paste my settings and go stream yourself and see if you if your stream looks good and it's not buffering and it's working properly. If it's not working properly, that means there's something wrong with your computer. That means it's outdated and so on and so on. But I don't think you're going to have any issues. As far as I can tell, uh, any common sense human being with a with 1000 computer uh, can can do these settings easily um always enforce the stream service encoding settings always because you want to get and squeeze as much pixels as possible you want a good quality right you're gonna click that always go cbr rate never change the cbr that's the best language that you that your stream understands and also the Twitch never changes, no matter what, no matter what anyone tells you. I've been streaming for two years and a half and I'm still streaming with a 2K bitrate. I do have a source button. Source button is the button over here that allows you to change the quality of the stream. All right, I do have this option, but I'm still streaming with, with 2K because it's, it's a good quality. I but if you have the source button over here under your stream and you have a good internet you can go at the maximum 3.5 if you do not have these options like uh, my friend dies over here never go higher than 2k all right never put it higher than 2k your viewers won't be able to load your stream and a lot of people, they're going to tell you that they cannot, uh, you just, no one will able to run uh, your stream. Uh, my friend dies over there, could, I, uh, he had his bitrate about 5k or something, I couldn't load the stream because I don't have a good internet. And I advise him to change his bitrate down to 2k, his stream is still looking good and I can uh, anytime go watch his stream and enjoy his content. It's good for you, you are losing viewers, it's not my fault, right? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a good advice. 
Um, when it comes uh, when it comes to keyframe, never change it to two. I uh, I played al around a little bit with the zero on the auto with one, two, three, and four. Uh, on the two, I saw it being okay. It wasn't giving too many frames. Uh, it worked good. It worked for me. Uh, probably it's gonna work for you as well. On the CPU, never change it from uh, fr more than very fast. Uh, that is the best, even if you have a beast computer, 10,000 uh, euros computer, always leave it on the very fast. On the profile, doesn't really matter, baseline, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, on the tunes, you're going to put nothing over here on the, t uh, on the 264 options. Uh, you're going to just keep it empty. If your CPU uh, is better than your GPU, then that's the settings that you're gonna use. If your GPU is a little bit better than your CPU, that's easy. You're just gonna go to the whatever other setting that you have over here, which is your GPU. You're gonna follow the exact setting settings in Forza Streaming, 2K, uh, keyframe on two, profile on, uh, sorry, the preset on the high quality and never, never change it that actually this is my settings that i'm streaming right now uh the high quality main uh, keyframe 2 and 2k bitrate that's my settings uh enable the use two pass encoding and then on the b uh, put two don't change this one it's gonna fuck up your your, your stream and everything uh when it comes to recording you're gonna put it on standard uh, you're gonna use the browse to select what folder you wanna uh, you want to save your se uh, your your videos. Uh, never change the recording format from MP4. Just just don't change it. The audio track this time we're gonna put two, so we know stream is one, recording is two. I'm actually uh, recording with my GPU right now, uh, which is the NVNC. As I said, I have a 1080 Ti, uh, which is way better than my CPU. Um, and uh, you're gonna always rescale the output to the 1920 by 1080, which is a giant must. Uh, over here, you're not gonna put anything. We're gonna follow the same CBR on the rate control and on the bit rate. Uh, that's a little bit fishy. I'm, I'm recording on a 90,000 bit rate recording. I, I didn't say streaming, but recording. Uh, this is the best that I found out there. Uh, I believe YouTube supports 70,000. So if you if I'm going to upload this video, I'm going to have a little bit more quality to chop around if I want to edit the video and bring it to the to the correct um, beat rate and all of that, which I'm not I'm not just I'm going to put it on my uh, on my software, edit it and not sorry not edit it just output on the correct bit rate and send it over to you um, I found the bit rate is the best for me if it's not really working for you and you see uh, some problems some stuttering and whatever you can always go at the minimum 50,000 I would not advise you advise you to go lower because you're gonna lose a lot of quality on your recordings for the keyframes you're gonna keep it too as always um, presets the same uh, high quality and high profile. Sa same with the with the recording, uh, with the streaming. You're gonna keep it the the B frame on two, and then it comes to the audio track one and two that I talked before. Never go higher on the audio bit rate other uh, more than 320, because I believe Twitch supports only a uh, maximum 320. You want to have a uh, as much good audio as possible. But remember that is gonna take away from your uh, from your internet if you see that you cannot stream with the settings that I show you so far with the bitrate of 2k uh, You can always drop this to 160 but never go lower. Okay on both of them I mean for for your streaming. This is the track one for your stream for your recording I don't this since you are not using your internet. I don't think uh, you're gonna have any issues uh, Keep it on 320 having a good audio quality uh, for your recordings and all of that uh, the rest of them over here is unnecessary you, unless you're really using multi-tracking and all of that, which I don't think you do. Uh, the next thing that I will advise you to go is on your audio. Set up your, your devices over here, of course. On the video, 
copy paste the exact same ones if the base resolution is different than yours if you click over here and you see something different which is not 1920 by 1080 uh then you you're gonna select that one i believe that's my second monitor and and on the output a hundred percent keep it 1280 by 720 no matter what okay this one sh it might be different but the rest of them is not gonna be never ch never downscale always keep it on the lasso's which is the best quality never play with that option always keep it on maximum uh frames always keep it on 30 you don't want your chat to struggle unless you do have the source button if you do have the source button you have a good internet and you have a good pc then up it to 60 uh, fps which is going to give you even better quality as long as you do have the source button this thing over here uh, there's a lot of you that uh, they are wondering how do you get the source button the source button you get it automatically uh, when you are averaging 10 viewers on your stream and uh, when you are streaming for a very 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 long time you need to stream a very long time in order for you to get that source button for me we stream for two years and i have it um I'm, i am averaging 10 viewers so i'm there's times that twitch just takes it away when i have like eight seven on one stream you know it goes up and down uh unfortunately i don't have many people on my stream so i'm sorry uh hot kids over there just set up your hotkeys i'm not gonna tell you what button you're gonna press for what uh that's that's your your video that's the best ones i always advise to just copy paste uh put your normal nv12 61 601 and partial uh audio do, 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 uh, monitoring device don't don't bother with that uh stream delay don't don't enable and uh Cut off points, I have it on 20 duration seconds when reconnecting. Uh, for me, I have issues when, when reconnecting with the Streamlabs. It never reconnects back. I need to literally just shut it down. Uh, it's the only issue that I have so far. Uh, that's your scenes collections. If you want to switch from uh, Streamlabs OBS, sorry, from OBS to Streamlabs OBS, you will be able to import. Uh, your overlays from one to another pretty easy to set up uh, notifications I don't know if that's gonna help you out it's basically I left it default and uh, appearance that's for your chat on the streamlabs on the streamlabs over here you have you have this arrow over here this arrow over here is your chat you enable that one and it brings you your chat on, on on the left or right depends and this is the options that you change i'm not using this chat i'm using a, a different chat so you resize the the size the size of the text chart and all of that is over here you can enable the better tv emotes and yada yada uh, i'm not using this i'm using chatty as my chat is over here it's uh i'm enjoying it i really enjoyed it uh i don't think there is anything else uh i'm i think i talked about everything right maybe i didn't talk about this one the way that you find the the best server is the way you just select over here click recommend probably it's gonna set you to the correct one if not estimate depend on your location if you see a place nearby it's probably uh, the best uh, the best one to use or just put it on the auto it works either way uh, uh, for me it's only Italy is the closest to Cyprus I'm si I'm from Cyprus so yeah as a closest server that I uh, that I have for sure and that's basically the settings uh, that's pretty much for me yeah uh, if you want to see some other settings including let me hide this eye I know that I can hide it uh whatever ignore this for now if you wanna ch if you wanna um, if you want me to explain you more about uh scenes and sources and all of that shit let me know um be a little bit specific so i know what topic i'm gonna talk about and i'm gonna try to explain you how to set up in detail uh word by word and uh, hopefully the tutorial over here helped you as well 
Uh, you guys been uh, asking me for a lot, so I took my time after the stream and after working for nine hours to, to make this video for you. So hopefully it helps you out. If it did, then uh, uh, thank you for, for watching the video. If it didn't, and then I'm sorry. And if my settings didn't really help you, and if, if you do have some issues with your stream, please l let me know. Give me a message down there. And I will try to figure it out myself what is the problem and maybe address it in a video or just literally answer you on your comment, right? Keep it real, dudes, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Or maybe the next Monday on the stream. I'll see you guys.